is involved in there and all the components and if it's safe and efficacious enough for Nigerians, then by Friday, hopefully we should see these vaccines really roll out and get to the arms of the frontline health workers, especially those ones who work in the isolation centers or in the hospitals that deal with COVID-19 patients and before it trickles down to other healthcare workers right here in Nigeria. Plus, let's not forget the strategic leadership, including the chairman of the presidential task force, even to the president, the chairman of the, uh, the, the president of the Senate, as well as other key strategic leadership, they should get the jabs on their arms in the next coming days. Great stuff, Amaka. Thank you so much for the ongoing updates. And there are the live images as we see more of the, the, the pallets coming off uh, that flight uh, that has touched down as more of these uh, vaccines uh, are being delivered. And there they are coming, touching down there, going to be distri distributed. Um, at this one, I mean, you know, we've from Boss Mustafa, Secretary okay. to the Government of the Federation, to Dr. Osage Hanire, Minister of Health, uh, to the uh, representation of the Director General of NAFTAC, that's Mojisola Adeye, over to the Executive Director of the NPHDA, National Primary Healthcare Development Agency. I think it really shows the significance of this moment that we've got all these officials here on ground and the amount of eyes that are going to be on the distribution of the vaccines and hopefully getting more uh, for the nation. So again, I guess it emphasizes the, 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 the gravity of the moment for the nation. Mm, formalities, but very necessary formalities. Um, mm. co um, um, Rotus, as, <laughs> as, as we see it, uh, yes. as with this pandemic, uh, a very important component that a lot of countries are learning, some are learning the hard way, is the component of transparency. Uh -huh. uh, and that's very important from, you know, injections to uh, variant, that's whether you have vaccines or you're having the virus, uh, transparency is very important. So what this again helps to prove is that the vaccines are here. Um, and, and we are following due procedure. We are following due process. Now, the agencies that have received this and those who have been represented are very key. Uh, NAVDAC, like Amaka said, received the dossier. Uh, February 15th, we rejected it to opt for Johnson & Johnson. Uh, can, again, be reassured that you know, due process is being done. So this is fantastic. These are steps that were necessary to be taken and for all to see. Fantastic stuff. I take it you're going to be continuing this conversation Definitely. on Newsday? Indeed. Yeah, in a few minutes. All right, all right. Look, Amaka, uh, Amaka, well, Amaka Ude on ground. Thank you so much. Excellent, excellent work from Amaka. But of course, Adeso Amora with us here, with me here in uh, the studio. Again, dear Nigeria, that is exclusive images of the arrival of the AstraZeneca vaccines, 3.9 million doses. We've see, heard from government officials that have uh, received them. Uh, and of course, we're going to be talking a lot about the distribution of the vaccines. But again, credits to COVID-19 and their involvement in getting this here. And uh, of course, we pledge again our support to all the frontline workers that will be getting doses of these vaccines. That's going to do it for the Global Business Report. Do stay tuned to Arise News from all of us. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Rotus Odiri. Newsday will carry on the exclusive news uh, in a moment. Do stay tuned.